Um, right now I've been, ex right now I've been experimenting with like high voltage pulses, and um, I have this very messy and confusing. Okay, here is my transformer. It's 12 volt 5 amp. Um, it's feeding into this switch that I pulled out of the door for a microwave oven. This is the microwave button transformer, which I'm using, which I'm pulsing 12 volts at 5 amps into. Well, actually, I'm not really sure how many amps it's pulling. But I'm assuming it's 5 amps, because on all my other power supplies, it's a short amount. Yeah. And this one's not really picking up that it's a short, so that's good. Um, I've... Okay, here, here we go. 12 volt 5 amp power supply being fed into a switch for a microwave oven door that then goes into the primary of this microwave transformer and then comes back and goes back into the negative of my DC 12 volt 5 amp power supply. The secondary is one at the output of the secondary is hooked up to a um, fluorescent tube and the other end of the tube is connected to ground which is the core of the transformer or the other end of the secondary one because microwave transformers are endpoint grounded which means the end of it is grounded to the core right. and it's a sort of like a strobe when I push the button so I'll show you. So I'm trying to figure out how to get it continuously going. That would be good. When I haven't got the light connected to it, it's a um, big, like, high voltage, like, arc. It's like a quick one. Okay. It's more of like a discharge arc. about it. Just wanted to show you that and hopefully it'll work on something that will continuously run. Yeah, so I'm gonna call it a night. Alright, see ya.